on a bike this morning but I'm heading up to the lodge and I'm riding in style no pedaling involved no pedaling home sweet home hope you guys are excited because Boy, do I have an awesome episode for you guys today. But first off, let me explain what I was just riding on. So that is what you call the Juiced Fat Tire Electric E-Bike. And this thing is clutch for anybody that has to hunt way back in. So you can get there. Um, this thing will, it'll go over 20 miles without you even pedaling. So every time you pedal, you go even further. So not only can you get places that nobody can get, but you won't be sweated up when you get there. Game changer. So we got two of them. Allow me to introduce not just uh, somebody that hunts with me, but also a good friend I consider. Uh, today, uh, I'm gonna show you the hunting episode with Dennis Bain. Dennis is uh, somebody that I've been hunting with for years. I think every guide here has hunted with at one point or another. Um, but he's literally the type of person that he can just show up and go hunting by himself. Um, he's, he's like family. Um, so anyways, uh, Dennis is a legendary photographer. And uh, so when he comes every year, he brings his camera. And a lot of you guys that follow us on Instagram and, and on Facebook, you've seen his photos and they have a little watermark that says Dennis Bain and you've probably thought holy smokes that's an unbelievable photo that's Dennis so he comes he's got he's got a, a 10 foot long uh, camera lens and, and uh, he usually spends a couple days hunting a couple days you know taking pictures for us um, usually he starts off by taking photos and then he sees uh, an unreal deer and he just can't handle it so he goes back and gets his bow and then he spends the rest of his time here bow hunting um i had the privilege and honor to hunt with him on this hunt and uh we were hunting out of a stump blind because it was that time of year where the, our scent was really tough to conceal the blinds that we're hunting out of are uh, made by a company called nature blind um we, we just call them stump blinds because they look like a tree they look like a giant redwood tree which we don't have those here but it, it looks real and uh they're warm and they keep your scent under control um and and dennis made a unbelievable shot right before dark um so i'm probably gonna have to enhance the footage a little bit to make it lighter um but this buck uh, I hope I didn't give it away with a thumbnail that I'm going to create, but he's big. He's real big. He sets the bar pretty high, Dennis. Good job, buddy. Thank you. 
silhouette we might have against these windows if they were to look through the front of the blind. We have a torrential downpour, but after looking at the Doppler radar, it looks like it's going to end pretty soon. So hopefully, hopefully they come out by the hundreds. Burp. Burp. Oh, oh, stop. Nice. Where did it hit him? I'll have to review it, but I, I think that's I think that's where we want it. I can see your luminock. Let's watch the footage. Oh. Oh my yeah, <laughs> he's got to be right up here. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 